England are through to the Women's World Cup final and English football's first global final since 1966. The beloved squad beat co-hosts Australia 3-1 on their own turf in a gripping semi-final. On Sunday, the Lionesses will take on Spain for a chance to take on the trophy amid some calls for a bank holiday to properly celebrate. Well, let's speak now to footballer Karis Harrop, who holds the all-time record for most appearances in the Women's Super League. Karis, really good to see you this morning. First of all, your reaction to that game yesterday, because it really was nerve-wracking stuff, wasn't it? Especially when we were 1-1. Yeah, no, it was a really exciting game. Uh, obviously, coming up against Australia, they were a very good team with the likes of Sam Kerr. It was a home game for them, so the crowd was behind them. They had the 12th man. But no, it was really impressive. England performed very well. I've obviously watched them throughout the whole tournament, and this was definitely their best performance so far. So I was just really chuffed for some of the girls I've, I've played with previously in the England setup. Lots of Lucy Bronze, who's missed out on the World Cup final for the last two World Cups. So just really pleased and, and chuffed for the girls. It's such an incredible moment. You can sort of feel the country coming together around this. Um, I, I wonder what this will do for, for women's sport moving forward. Of course, the Euros were meant to be this big moment to sort of get more girls playing football in school. Uh, will this only add to that campaign? Definitely. The more success, the better. And the fact it's all on TV and everyone's tuning in to watch. You know, I was in a I was in a small village pub yesterday, and it was amazing to see how many people of all different ages and genders had packed in to watch the game. So yeah, it's going to have a real positive impact on the nation, and even more so if the girls win on Sunday. It says a lot, doesn't it, that we beat hosts Australia yesterday on home turf with the crowd fully behind the Australians and it's the Lionesses that came out victorious. We've been playing really quite well, haven't we? Yeah, very well, certainly the last couple of games. I think the first of the group games at first were a bit ropey, you know, seeing the Lionesses win the Euros last summer and knowing how well they played. I think the first couple of the games, maybe the girls weren't up to, to their own personal standards. But, you know, in the last uh, couple of games where it's, the performances have really meant the most to be able to, to get the win, the girls have showed up, they've been very resilient and just been scoring some fantastic goals. You know, like Savella Toon's goal yesterday was, was brilliant. So hopefully more of the same on Sunday. How will the uh, team be feeling, I suppose? It's, it's, it's sort of this lull now between uh, that sp spectacular victory yesterday and the final on Sunday. It must be a, a nerve-wracking time. How will the team sort of get, keep, keep focused on that game and, and, and make sure that they can continue their winning streak? Well, they'll be doing analysis on um, the game yesterday, so they'll, they'll be looking back and having meetings around how they performed, what they did well, what they could maybe improve for Sunday. And then they'll be doing a recovery session today, I, I assume, with, you know, ice bath and all the, the nice things that come with that, maybe a nice sauna. Um, and then they'll do analysis for the game against Spain on Sunday. So, yeah, they'll be, they'll be keeping busy. I'm sure they're, uh, they'll be nervous, but they're very focused. You know, the girls in the camp with Serena will be just focused on this, this World Cup final because it's going to be the biggest game in their lives. And what do you make of Serena Wiegmann's management style? Because she has been so successful, hasn't she, in terms of the Euros last year and now uh, the, the performance we're seeing from the Lionesses in the World Cup this year. A lot of people would say that is down in a large part to that one woman. No, it is for sure. I think obviously being within teams myself and having won um, tournaments and competitions, a lot of it relies on kind of the, the respect the players have for the manager. If the, the manager is, is well respected and liked and you almost um, put in a bit more, more effort for not just for yourself, but for the coach as well. And you see interviews with Serena and she's very down to earth and um, she's a very humble person. She's enjoying the ride as much as everyone else. And, and on top of that, she's a fantastic coach as well. So yeah, it's def definitely um, a recipe for success when you have a, a coach that is, is well liked and respected. Yeah, absolutely. And we're going to we're going to tease you now for a prediction. How do you think it's going to go on Sunday? Well, my predictions so far haven't been great. They've always been England winning, but the scoreline hasn't been uh, say as good as Farrah Williams, who's been getting all her predictions correct. But uh, it's going to be close. You know, Spain oh. are a good team, but I'll go with one nil to England.
1-0 to England. But you think it's going to be close. Very interesting.